Hello and welcome back, friends. Welcome, dreamers. How y'all doing? Yeah, you see that stack back there? That's some of the friend mail, hand of friendship entries that I shared today. And I have another box here next to me filled with mail. So there's going to be <laughs> more videos coming out. But tonight, I want to talk some trash. Yeah, we're going to be talking trash, honey. Yes, we are. Now, I can't remember the last time or if I've ever talked trash before. So I was like, let's go ahead and do this. Let's get right into it. Because I see you guys doing it. Y'all pull me in every time talking trash. So should we start with beauty? Trash beauty? All right, let's start there. The first thing I'm going to throw away is this Tarte Lights, Lashes, and Camera. This thing has been used so much that, look, the whole thing comes right off. <laughs> now, the only reason why I'm throwing this away is because I've had it for a long time. And now whenever I use it, and I love, 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 highly recommend this one. Highly recommend it by Tarte. Highly recommend it. Whenever I use it now, it's causing eye irritation. So it's time for it to go. That means mommy needs a new one. Yes. So this will be on my list of things to order. I'm going to put it here in my bag. The next a beauty item that I'm just ready to let go. It's not doing much for me. It's not. I tried the Ioni Mascara. Nope. This was uh, brand new. I tried it two or three times and I actually had to do like a combo. I think it's because of the type of brush it is. Uh, it's not giving me the length that I need for my eyes. And it's just, and it's making my eyes feel funny, like a little watery. So I don't know if there's a chemical in here that I'm a little bit sensitive to. So it's got to go. Trash. The next beauty item. Okay, this one. Okay, this is a lip gloss and this is by LA Colors. Now, this one doesn't have much color payoff. And even though the color on here, it's really pretty. On your lips, you don't get much of anything. So, unless you're just looking to have a pretty shine, this is what it's good for, but not any color. So, I'm really ready to let this go. It's just taking up space for the cosmetics that I'm trying to, you know, rummage through, I'm not grabbing this. It's just taking up space. Now this one by Rimmel. Oh my gloss. Okay. I don't know. It's something about this that I don't like. Um, when I put it on, the gloss would start to like run off my lips. So I would definitely need, I, I don't know why, maybe it's an oil that they use in here or something, but it's almost like you need a lip liner, like a thick lip liner for it to stay put, at least on me. That's my problem. So this one's, oh my gosh, it's got to go. It's just in the way, honey. And here's another beauty product. Now this one um, is from Revolution. This is Karaoke Kittens. Karaoke Kittens. Yes. Now I played around with these colors. I'll show them to you. And this does come with a mirror. I've played around with the colors, even though it looks like I haven't, I have, and I just don't like them. I found them to be uh, powdery, uh, and they would land like if I didn't tap it. You know, after you go like this and you tap to get the fallout. If I didn't tap extra, the fallout would land like here underneath and just make a mess. And I was like, you know, uh, I'm ready to let this go, but I'm not going to throw it away because I think that this will look really cute in a dollhouse miniature room, like for a girl's room on a wall. I think that would look adorable or even on top of a, like on the edge of the bed, if I create a, um, a little faux, what are those called whenever you would keep a chest? For like when you get married and things and your mother puts things in it, those kind of chests. Maybe I could try to create a pink chest with that little topper like that because it's so cute. So this is going to go here because I'm going to use that just for decorative purposes. I know. Now I warm. I do. Okay. 
Well, first of all, if you didn't know, I'm an independent sensory consultant. Yes, I am. And we will be talking about coffee. We will be talking about coffee too. Okay, so give me a moment. I'm trying to go through my things here. But I am an independent sun. I'm an independent. I'm an independent independent sensory consultant. I am. I'm sorry, my nose is like still stuffed up. I'm struggling. And I warm a lot of stuff. And normally I just throw out the little um, clams after I'm done. But I decided to hold on to some just within like this last week. So this is stuff I've been warming really for like a week and a half. Like a week and a half. Maybe close to two weeks or less. Something like that. Okay. So the first one is not even sunsy. This is one that I had from, I can't even remember from where I got this. This was the Woodwick. Highly fragranced wax melt and Fraser fur. And here's the bottom. So I had gotten this and I, I finally finished it off as a big one. This is like a big one. And um, it was just okay. It wasn't anything to write home about. The, the scent, it smelled like Fraser fur. It did, but it was very short lived. Very short lived. And I kind of had to dump it out every single day just to get more fragrance. So I went through it very quickly. I did. Gosh. The next one. Uh, okay, these, this is a Scentsy Pod. Very snowy spruce. Um, this is a pod. Very snowy spruce. These are the kind that you put on a wall and they come like in a circle and then the fan pushes the air out, the fragrance. And I have this downstairs in my front room and I normally use one at a time, you know, you can use two at a time if you want, but I like just to use one at a time. So my downstairs smelled very fragrant as soon as you opened up the door, um, you could smell it and it was really nice. So we enjoyed this one. This one smelled really nice and it made the downstairs smell nice. It didn't carry all the way upstairs or anything like that. It didn't, but it stayed downstairs. This next one, Woodland Suede. Ah, oh. now what I will say, Woodland Suede was really nice. It had a good projection, but it's very on the masculine side. So you have to like masculine sense because it almost has a, almost like a men's cologne to it. And it smelled, it smelled really good. We liked it. We liked it. But if you don't like men's cologne friends, um, scents, then this wouldn't be the one for you. But this one's called Woodland Suede and we enjoyed it. And then let me see. Oh, Soaking Rays. This was during the summer. So I still have a lot of my waxes that I, um, that I had in my subscription and I canceled all my subscriptions because I said, I have to enjoy what I have. So that's what I'm doing. So this was a summer fragrance. This smells like suntan lotion, beach, coconut, suntan vibes, soaking up the rays, soaking rays. So this was a nice one. I enjoyed it. I do have the room spray for it that I'm still spraying in my room. It's no longer available though. It was during the summertime. This one's called Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, honey. Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. Again, another summer scent. And this one is just... <sighs> this one was interesting because it has a tropical fruit mix to it that we really enjoyed. But then it gave you a little bit of that oceanic feel, but more tropical than anything else. Almost like having a whole bunch of tropical fruits while you're sitting on the beach surrounding you and you're eating them yeah that's what it gave me i liked it i enjoyed it i didn't have no problem with it oh almond croissant now this has been discontinued i don't know if they're going to bring it back i have no idea if they're going to bring this back ever but this is one of my go-to scents that i had and i collected so i have you know a good amount of these bars <laughs> and um it's a definite bakery scent it tastes it tastes it smells just like an almond croissant exactly like a buttery almond croissant and i love it and i have a whole bunch of it to melt and it's like a perfect time 
to do it right now. Perfect time to do it. Then I found my Make a Splash. And Make a Splash, uh, it's like a fresh scent, aquatic, and it has a little sweetness to it. So this one was nice. This was a, um, a scent from the summer that I just threw and started warming now. And I'll be, if you guys want me to tell you what I'm warming, I can do more because I'm, I'm warming every day. So I could tell you the scents I've been warming. I can do that for you. Okay, this is Pacific Mist. Pacific Mist. And this one definitely had more of a ocean, an ocean aquatic scent to it without any fruitiness, without any perfumes. And it just, it was just, it was very aquatic without anything else really attaching itself to it. So it was a very, very, very lovely scent to have. They reminded you of the summer. It, that, was, that was a very nice, unique one. Then the raspberry hibiscus tea. Raspberry hibiscus tea. I don't know if this is still available or not. It might have been summer. This one, I still have several of these left, I believe. And this is nice and fruity. And when it says tea, you would think it would get like an herbal scent or something. And I don't. I definitely get the high raspberry note and the fruitiness behind it. But I don't get any tea or anything like that. So I really like that one because I'm not really a tea drinker. And then this last one is Velvet Moon. And... Oh, this one smells so good. If this, I don't even know if this is still available or not. I doubt it. I doubt that this is even available. Velvet Moon. OMG. This is one of those scents that is almost like a perfume fragrance. And it's so beautiful. And this blends well with the oceanic wax melts. So if this ever comes back, Velvet Moon, and if I create a new subscription, I would definitely add that to it. Okay, let's do coffee now, okay? So this is the coffees my husband and I had from upstairs. We went through our Great Value Caramel Apple Pie. That's the um, Walmart brand Caramel Apple Pie Ground Coffee. We really enjoyed this one. This was very aromatic. The taste was smooth. And we enjoyed the um, the flavor that was in it. And we really enjoyed this one. I don't even know if this is still available or not. You know how they bring these little fun, different style coffees? Um, this still might be available. Still might be available. Caramel apple pie. So check it out. And that's at Walmart. And then uh, we had two, because I had ordered these from um, Amazon. So this was, this one, I had two. We went through them. This is by Community Coffee, and this was the Mardi Gras King Cake. It's a festive blend of cinnamon spice and sweet vanilla flavor. Now, what I will say, the first time we made it, my husband tried to make it, and he just, he just doesn't know how to make coffee. I made it and then we liked it. Cause I was like, what did you do? He was like, well, I can't remember. And he had, I don't know why he had put some instant coffee in this to go. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> why he did that, but he did. But when I made it, we enjoyed this. It had a very nice, smooth taste. It was not overwhelming. When you hear the festive blend of cinnamon and spice and sweet vanilla flavor, it's nothing that's like, ooh, like, oh, that's too much. No, it was very smooth and it was nice. And I was not that noticeable. FYI, you could kind of smell it while it's brewing, which is really nice. But when you're drinking it, it's not that noticeable. And that, at least not for me, because I was, you know, I add my, um, my creamers and stuff to it. Okay. So we have one more. This one. Let me put this in the trash. In here, okay. Then the last 
coffee um, is the cherry. This is by Barisimo Coffee Cherry. And I had gotten this from Aldi's. Yes. And I got this, I want to say a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. I don't even know if they still have it. You know how they bring in this kind of really nice coffees and then you never see them again. Yeah, I think it's like one of those things. But this we really enjoyed this one. And if I were to find this one again, I'd probably buy like four or five bags, depending upon the date on them. I would just go, go hog and buy five or six and um, have them on the shelf so we can enjoy it. This one smelled so good when we were brewing it. It smelled good and it was very flavorful. I could even taste the flavor through my creamers, which was something that hardly doesn't ever happen and it did with this one this one is called cherry rainforest alliance certified coffee cherry so if you find this one get it i highly recommend it so that is the end of my trash talk for tonight honey yes it is if you like to see some more let me know and girl i'll make it happen so thank you so much i'll talk to y'all later bye